guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today, we're going to take a look at the Easy 8 Goku and Chi Chi. Now, where I think Dokkan might have fumbled a bit is with some of these free to play characters. Um, it's just because they create, like, dude, this. <laughs> Let's start with this, right? We'll go ahead and take a look at their the great link set of this unit right here. So, what do we got? In Fighter. Um, this one is Guidance of the Dragon Balls? I think this one is Guidance. Yeah, th this is... No, that's Incredible Adventure. So this is Incredible Adventure. This is Guidance of the Dragon Balls right here. So already we're off to a pretty bad start. Then we have... Uh, this is Sun Family. You know, Goku Family, All in the Family. Then we have Solid Support, Courage, and Shattering Limit. What were they thinking? I, I just... <laughs> like, I... the Link... After the Link level update, Links are so important that... It's like, this is not, like, great. It's like, why would you run this unit? Like, there's... This unit can do stuff, for sure, but... At the, like, immediately you're getting hurt by this, right? Why would you run this on Goku Family or Join Forces when on Goku Family you could just run any of the busted Gokus and you're good to go, right? Uh, now, they do have an active skill, which I, I think the active skill is actually the one interesting portion of this character. Um, it's an active skill attack that Ghost Ushers... Um, I, I'm trying to think, like, in, like, an Ultimate Red Zone stage, could you utilize this Ghost Usher to good effect? Maybe. Uh, you know, Cooler comes to mind where he has a countdown, then he blows your ass in half, right? It's like, if you could use this character to potentially, you know, active skill Ghost Usher that Cooler turn, so then it just delays his super attack, which will likely kill you by a turn, like, that, that could be helpful. Um, but... It's just like with their links and stuff. I don't know. I, they greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on the super attack effect, which is good. They're getting 122% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then they get 22% attack and defense per attack performed. They do have a high chance of launching an additional super. And then Goku family and join force category allies to key 22% attack and defense. For sure, one thing I'm noticing about the game right now, right, is that. Goku family, as impressive of a category as it is, I, I don't know that I really want to run it too often because now of the leader skills and the leader skill unit, right? If we take a look, this Goku is fodder in, like, Ultimate Red Zone. You could utilize him if you've got GT characters around to build up his defense um, or he's got type advantage, you can make it work, sure. But this guy is paper mache in front of these really powerful... He's a joke in front of these bosses. Um... I'm not actually super comfortable running this guy um, a lot as a lead in, like, Ultimate Red Zone or something like that. Like, no, sir. Um, and it's like his buff is 150% to Goku Family anyway. Like, all these teams, like, if your leader skill isn't full 170%, it's not even really that great. Um, at least, like, some characters, like Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, it's two categories that are so insane you could build these, like really good setups where you can overcome like the 130% HP or something like that but leader skills are in a really bad place right now um, with how difficult the ultimate red zone is and how poor many of the leader skills are on a lot of these units right um so okay they're getting 122% attack and even start a turn 22% attack and even per attack performed right high chance of additional super and then the Goku family enjoying forces category ally 2 key I mean, they're at 100k right here. This is with Kid Gohan giving them massive defensive support. L links are going to be a huge issue for them. Um, I don't know. I How good do I think this unit is going to be? L let me take a look what they look like when they're fully built up. So we need to do four attacks. A million? Ah. Uh... Like, I didn't even bother bringing, like, a Chi-Chi on the team. Maybe I should have. Like, we could have put, like... Th I, the problem is, like, the only character that links up well with this unit is Chi-Chi. And Chi-Chi has no good character. <laughs> There's no good Chi-Chis in the game, man. Right? Like, it's like... I, I do like that they did, did give them some support. The Goku family joined forces. Um, allies, two key, 22% attack and defense. But, uh, I, I mean... They did give them both key and stats, right? It, it is helpful, but, like, they couldn't have done three key, 30% attack and defense. We couldn't have done that, right? Couldn't have done that, huh? I think it, you know, could have made it a little bit better there. Um, we, we will, 
we'll see, but I, I just... I feel like this character is going to end up being uh, a zero. Like, no one is ever going to use this character. Because they're, they're so wonky, right? Like, I, if they're getting in three super attacks, where, you know, can they're greatly raising attack and defense for one turn on their super attack effect. So, like, if they triple super attack and their full passive is built up, could they jump up over, like, 300k defense? I think they could, right? So it's like, I feel like you, you could get some usability in for them in long event. This is more of a long event unit for sure, right? Because um, in order to do their active skill, you do have to do four super attacks, four or more super attacks in order to even utilize their active skill. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but they just didn't do enough. I think the free-to-play units this year in the anniversary are actually kind of weak. Um, I think the LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, this Goku and Chi-Chi, and the Vegeta and Bulma, they're just weird units. I, it's like, it, it's okay, I guess, because it's like all of the EZAs and summonable units, I think, are great. I mean, God Vegeta, they definitely could have designed him a little bit better. Great Ape Vegeta, they could have designed him a little bit better as well. Um, but for the most part, the characters are good, right? Um, all right, we're cheating a little bit with uh, this rotation. Oh my god, they look so good! Wowee! They're at 200k defense, right? <laughs> so yeah, we have over 100% defensive support on the rotation. <laughs> but whatever, man. It's all good. Here, I'm going to give that uh, pan orbs because she sucks. Um, all right, let, let's just keep going. Let's let's sort of see, you know, what uh, Goku and Chi-Chi are capable of doing. Let's, you know, try and get them fully built up, see what their defense is and stuff like that. Again, if you're getting the additional supers, um, they'll be looking good. The pro one problem, it is a high chance of an additional super, which is good. But that's not... You want it as guaranteed additional with a high chance to super is what you want. Right? Let's see, like, this damage is just so low. Like, I... Uh, okay, we didn't get their high chance of additional super again. I just... Man. See, again, it's like... The problem, right, is that this unit is not on, like, the World Tournament category or Dragon Ball Saga or some shit like that. It's on Join Forces and Goku Family. Like, these are, like, some of the most stacked category teams in the game. Uh, like, you just... Uh, I guess at least they do support. Like, they do support, right? So, it's like, you can point to something, and they've got the active skill Ghost Usher, which I do think is quite valuable, right? Like, I, I should maybe do a video on um, PyCon in the Ultimate Red Zone. Because, remember, Dodge is a very effective strategy in Ultimate Red Zone. And is actually probably what you should be doing in a lot of the, the cases. Because units just can't tank. Like, Great Ape Baby Super Attack, like, units just really can't tank that. Like, it's like, you gotta, like, dodge it or have shenanigans going on or something, right? Um, so... Pycon and his Ghost Usher would work well, and I might I might do a video on that. Look at me, I'm <laughs> I'm so unimpressed by the Goku and Chi Chi. I'm like, yeah, Pycon, man, <laughs> Pycon, dude. All right, uh, we can you know dress things up a little bit. We got B Pan here. I'm sure their damage will be really uh, thrilling with B Pan. They're up over 200k defense now. Um, in terms of links, we have All in the Family and Shining Limit again. A lot of this other shit, dude, like Courage, Solid Support, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls. There's just, you don't really have, like, the, a, a character that's going to get a lot of these activated. Um, you know, remember, they're not on, you know, the category is called Boyhood Saga, right, on ja uh, JP Dokkan. And it's just Dragon Ball Saga and Global, but that's the incorrect name. Right, if it was an actual Dragon Ball Saga team, so you're up to 3.49. I mean, if we triple super attack right here, that'll be a lot better. Okay, there's two, right? Nice, nice. We are giving a little bit of support on rotation. Their defense is definitely, like, it's like 400k-ish right there, isn't it? So it's like, okay, like, you know, they could do some stuff. You know, if, if we dress things up a little bit, this is um definitely what I would consider a showcase setting. B-Pan I do like as a unit you could bring into some difficult content. I think B-Pan could definitely still potentially be helpful in Ultimate Red Zone. I think her heal in particular could be very valuable in there. But, I mean, AGL, 50% support Pan, she sucks donkey balls. Like, you're not 
running EGL pan ever. Anywhere. Like, you no. That's what's so crazy about the 50% supports is, like, people, like, like value them because they don't have them because they, these banners have never been out. But, like, these characters suck. Right? Like, it's like, Kabe is good. Int Kid Gohan is good. Hit is good. And, like, that's pretty much it. And even, like, but, like, Kabe and Int Kid Gohan and some of these characters, like, they're aging now. It's like, they worked in, like, the OG Legendary Goku event. But, like, you're not taking, like, in Kid Gohan and putting him up against, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end of their Vegeta event. Right? So, like, even the 50% supports, they need easy A's. These units need to be made more readily available, and then they need to be given easy A's on top of that. Right? For sure. Um, okay. So, I, I feel like we'll keep going until we can get the active skill. Um, again, they have to super attack four times. Um, and we'll be able to uh, use their active skill at that point. So we can go ahead and pop this off right here. Um, what is their stats at this point? They're at 200k defense right there. Just linked up with Pan with that. I mean, fully built up. What about without all in the family? They drop down to 170. So, you know, with just 50% defensive support, they're jumping up to one set. Or they're at 170% defense with... 50% support. Every super attack they do is giving them 50% from their super attack effect. Again, I I feel like you you can make this unit work. Um, but they're just not good enough. This like a seventh anniversary. Like, yeah, this is cute, like Goku and Chi Chi nice, but I feel like this unit could have worked a lot better. If it was just Goku. I feel like it would have worked a lot better, right? Because it's like you're not running like a lot of these teams, these links, it's just, it's just no good. Um, not the biggest fan. Again, they could they could do some stuff. This ghost usher is really good. A ghost usher effect is really solid. Um, because like bosses cannot are not immune to that. They can't be immune to that. Um, that's different than sort of the break action that like LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does. Um, that all the EZAs are now impervious to. Uh, it's different from that, right? Um, the Ghost Usher, you could just hit bosses with. So, that gives this unit some utility, but certainly not the craziest ever, right? So, let me know what you guys think of the EZA Goku and Chi Chi. Um, I do think the units could have been made a little bit better here. Certainly not the most impressive, I would say. 